first instrument, I thought I wanted to play the fiddle. So uh, my dad had an interest in learning to play music uh, ever since he was a kid, but never had any instruments growing up. So as, when he became an adult, he saved up some money and bought a mandolin, which he had always wanted. My dad said, well, you know, the mandolin's tuned like the fiddle, so what if I just showed you a couple things on it, and at least whenever you get the fiddle, you'll know where to put your fingers. This mandolin is um, a pretty standard blueprint for Gibson mandolins. It's called the Master Model. This Master Model is basically trying to be a replica of those Lloyd Lore mandolins. And so a guy named Dave Harvey, who works for Gibson in Nashville, is just a phenomenal builder. I have really fallen in love with it. It's As instruments do, the more you play them, the more love you give them, they just sort of open up. And so Ricky Skaggs, Gibson did a series of um, distressed mandolins called the Ricky Skaggs Distress Model, and it was like 50 mandolins they did. And I got to play Ricky's and around that time, and I thought, man, what a great mandolin mandolin that is and so Dave kind of did a few things to this mandolin to make it a little bit similar to the, the Skaggs model in that the neck is a, a slightly smaller neck and it also has an aged finish now I've been playing it a lot since 2009 so all this I've kind of done myself <laughs> like super good like bluegrassy mandolin but then can also be just this really sweet you know it's just it's for what I'm doing I, I've just found that it's just a it's a really good voice for me I like it mandolin first and foremost. Um, didn't really have any other instruments within the mandolin family for quite a while um, until I was working on my second album, Daybreak, and I was recording at the studio in Nashville and the engineer, who happened to also be a mandolin player, had an octave mandolin. And it's just such a beautiful instrument because also being somebody that grew up playing a lot of guitar, it has that same tonality as guitar. It's really warm, loads of sustain, um, but it has all the same mandolin voicing. So it's tuned exactly the same, it's just an octave below. So it's much lower. So you can hear that, but it can also be be kind of a more gritty instrument when you want it to be as well. So when I started working on thinking about approaching my music from a more solo point of view and exploring what that would be like, it felt like a natural instinct to use this instrument more. So on the latest recording, you know, almost half of the songs are using an octave mandolin with the voice. Similar to guitar, I use the capo a lot. So I'll capo up and, and try to take advantage of all that sustain that you get with the open notes. So, you know, talking about just playing like two finger chords, you know, you can do that. Like you'd play a two finger G chord here, just capo up and play a two finger A chord. So this is uh, my octave mandolin is made by a company called Weber. They also build great mandolins as well. Um, this particular one is called a Bridger. And this is the second one from Weber that I've gotten. Um, I have an F style, which has the scroll and everything looks basically just like a giant version of my Gibson mandolin. And this one is quite different from that one. The scale is actually a little longer and it has the oval hole and of course it's the teardrop style. And I just kind of fell in love with this one. It was, had such a warm sound to it. I mean, you can just hear how long it's still ringing. So I just sort of felt like this particular one would really work well for what I was using it for in that solo kind of setting. Yeah, I'm thrilled to have it. It's a beautiful instrument. Mm -hmm. 